May 21st, 2011 is not going to be the end of the world. So everybody who is planning, getting ready, you know, who believe that the worst is yet to happen, please hold your peace. Today is April 27, 2011. May 21st, 2011 is right around the corner. And there are many, there are a lot of people who believe this day is going to be the last day, the end of the world. I am making this video to say that nobody should be worrying about it. That nothing is going to be a regular day like any other. People who like who there are what I don't like is that people there's certain people that think they have a requirement or a mandate or a need to make up a certain time when Jesus will come on the end of the world. Like what gave them any right? Did they have like any vision, dream or any divine encounter that made them think or assume that May twenty first doesn't live with the end of the world. No, they just thought it up in their mind. They want people to worry. They want people to start thinking all sorts of things, get confused. So, it's been about a year and a half since I have known about this, and I haven't really found or seen any proof or evidence that the world will end May 21st. So, I'm just, everybody should just go on with their lives. And once that day passes, whoever conjured that date up will probably feel very guilty. Very guilty. And not want to come out in the open. Another reason why the world is not going to end May 21st is because before the world ends, there's supposed to be an enormous amount of tragic events happening at once. People killing each other, people shooting each other, tragic The worst should happen before the end. And I want to use some Bible scripture right now, and that is Matthew chapter 24 verses 29 to 30 it says immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with great glory and it says in Matthew chapter 7 I mean Matthew chapter tw the same chapter Matthew chapter 24 verses 7 to 12 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then the end will come. So, what I have read right now, yes, earthquakes are occurring, yes, nations are rising against nations. For example, Libya, the problem, you know, U.S. right now has a problem with Gap Hadi because he is trying to be a dictator he's trying to overrule his country and not give his citizens any layaway so he's trying to be a tyrant 
right now. And yes, there are famines occurring. But it hasn't come to the point where people have started killing each other. And it hasn't come to the point where Christians or those who are following Christ are being martyred or killed. And the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet hasn't occurred yet and that's supposed to happen midway in the tribulation so after the tribulation the sun will be darkened the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall then the end will come so all that I have said right now majority, majority has not happened yet so, if you're still out there thinking that May 21st is going to be, you know, the wrap-up, it's not going to happen. So, everyone should just stay focused on Jesus. Keep your trust in Jesus. Keep your hope in Jesus. And don't be worried. Thank you very much.